Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd do a really quick video today of when to change your running shoes. I get asked this question all the time. So we're gonna go through how to tell when your running shoes are at the end of their life, how to make them last a little bit longer, and also how to get rid of them to prevent them going into landfill. Right, let's get stuck into this video. Let's get this done. So starting out a quick chat about factors that are gonna affect the durability and how long our shoes will last. Well, the first one is the type of surface that we're running on. If we run on, say like mountain trails, really aggressive terrain, these are my trail shoes here, getting very worn out very quickly. On the flip side of that, if we're running on roads, nice and smooth surfaces, the shoes are gonna last a hell of a lot longer. The second one, our running style or gait, sort of how we run, how our shoes are hitting the ground. Are we a heel striker? Strike landing on the outside, the middle, or on the inside. If we're landing on these more extreme points, they're gonna get worn down there a lot quicker than if we're just landing flat bang in the middle. Heavier runners are gonna wear down shoes a little bit quicker than lighter runners as well. Simply the heavier, more force pressing down on the foam, it's gonna compress more, more weight going through it as well, and more reactive force coming back up as well. It's just gonna compress that foam and it's not going to last quite as long. Right, so how are we gonna tell when it's time to go out and get a new pair of shoes? Well, there's a few different ways we can do it. The main sort of industry standard is around about every three to 500 miles or about 500 to 800 Ks. Now, some people say that's just a figure made up by retailers and manufacturers to get us to buy more shoes. So we need to have a little bit more of analysis about what's going on. Now, you might be picking up a few more extra pains, a little bit more sore after your runs. That could be a good indication that after the foam is starting to lose a little bit of that springiness as we go through our stride and it's just been a little bit more extra pressure on our joints and our muscles as we go along. There may be some excessive wear on the outside or the inside of the sole so as I said these are my trail shoes here they're completely worn flat on the inside of sorry on the outside of the shoe whereas on this side of the shoe there is nothing at all. That's just my running stride I land just on the outside and then sort of roll in fairly normal in running terms, but once shoes do start to wear down on the outside and leave nothing on the inside, you get a bit of sort of a triangle effect, which then can affect your joints and things because your foot isn't landing nice. It's more of an issue with shoes that have lots of tread on the bottom, basically. It's also a really good idea to have a look at the foam. So this is a fairly new shoe, although it's actually quite old, but I really haven't run in it much, a Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. And you can sort of see if I, we'll zoom in a little bit more, if you see if I press it, it's compressing really nicely. And yeah, this shoe has done nothing more than about 50K so far. So lots of spring back in the foam there. In contrast, Sarah's shoe here, she's done 800 miles in this one so far, so absolutely loads. And yeah, the foam is just completely <laughs> dead, it's like rock solid, just not gonna be springing you, springing you up in the same sort of way and absorbing that impact as we run along. So maybe you've already got a new pair and you're not sure, sure when to change over. A little squeeze test on the foam there, just see how it feels. And if it's getting really sort of rock solid like that, <laughs> it's a good time to change your shoes. And then finally, it's also a good idea to track your mileage on apps and things like Strava, just so you get a good indication of how much you've done in your shoes. Some people like to write the date on, on their shoes of when they got them, if you're, if you're not someone that uses an app. If you know you run 50 miles a week, then you can almost predict the date at which point you're going to need to go out and get a new pair of shoes. So how can we make our shoes last a little bit longer when we're out there running? Well, it can be a really good idea, if you're someone that runs more than three times a week, is to get two pairs of running shoes. Now I know what you're saying, shoe manufacturers want us to just buy more shoes, but it's it's proven that two pairs of shoes rotated nicely will last a lot longer. Now when running shoes, we're going out, we're compressing all this foam and it needs a little bit of time to sort of breathe and expand back up again. As runners, we need rest days as well, and our shoes also do need rest days between big efforts. A couple of really simple things, always undo your laces properly and do them up every time you put shoes on. Don't leave them all laced up and then try and slide your foot in and crush down the back of the shoe. That will really won't last long. And if you are washing them, really good to wash them by hand. Of course, you can put them in the washing machine if you want to, but most people say it's a lot better to wash them by hand and then just let them dry naturally. Now if you do get some holes in the outside of your shoe and you just want to repair them because you might want to use them for walking or casually or out in the garden afterwards, you can get some patches from a company called Trainer Armour. We'll link to them down below. It just helps prolong that life of that shoe. It may be finished for running, but it still can carry on using it for lots of other things. And then finally, you might want to get your shoes resold as well. And we'll, again, we'll link to some people down below here in the UK. Can be quite expensive. A lot of people would say, I'll just buy a new pair of shoes. That's unfortunately the way we live in the, mo live in the world at the moment. But if you are the kind of person, a bit more eco, wants to get a nice new resale on a shoe, it is possible. 
So we'll link to that down below. And then finally, what to do with your old shoes when they are trashed. Sarah, please, can we recycle this pair of shoes? I'm not sure who would want these very smelly ones. Maybe something. They've got loads of miles left in them. <laughs> Definitely not. So yeah, as I just said, you can obviously use them around the house, whatever, painting, DIY, going to the shops. Shoes will last a very, very long time. But it's really good to try and recycle them. Companies like Jog On, who sort of link up with sports shoes. Again, we'll link them down below. You can send them off and they will be recycled. Runners Need have a scheme called Recycle My Run, where they're reused if possible or broken down into raw materials and recycled. Please don't throw them in the bin. Please try and get rid of them in the best way you can. So these things stay out of landfill and might end up on somebody else's feet or into some new products. Hope that helps, guys. Just a really quick video there. I'm off to get some more training done. So keep working hard, guys. Keep on getting it done. And we'll see you very soon in the next one.